Alright, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're back into map number two of Expired Esports against Headshot Esports. It will be Headshot to start on that T side now. Remember, this is the pick of Expired Esports, so this does suggest that they did win the knife round, and hence they are able to start on that CT side. Of course, it'd be a little bit ludicrous to start on the T side of Overpass. Tough beat. But let's see if Headshot have any response within them. After Dust 2, the map pick getting stolen away from them, but didn't feel as though they had much to say either. Very slow round to start things off. Headshot, I think they will be looking to get off a pistol round win. They, they, they did lose both pistols back on Dust 2, but now they find the opener, although it's been quickly traded. Dwayne though with a second for expired. Logi, ooh, out long, spots the win out, back turn, are uh, completely unaware, but Reddington now on the side, spots out another player towards long, World Kids coming in now, 45 seconds left still, do headshot opt, continue on, let's see, it do hit the pause button for just a little bit, but Logi, with the smoke for sight, Will at least enable his own cross. But look, at the same time, Captain Cook is going back down towards the B side. Has a smoke and two flashes. Andred being kept on the side. Ah, perfect, perfect bait being sold by Logi, though. Oh, the fact that he falls leaves Captain Cook now left in the one to speed. Wu Tang's trying to speed up the process. They know where the player is, but smoke will at least buy Captain Cook a little bit of breathing room. To at least get himself out of the situation, he finds himself in Gush onto the player in heaven as well. Now both players have dropped perfect flash from Captain Cook. One looking for the second. Can he take it? Oh, Bootangs manages to find a kill. Things got a little bit hairy there. Captain Cook almost pulling it off. You can see how low Reddington was as well, but yeah, no scar for Headshot Esports. So expired, putting a third pistol round on the board. And pardon me, I think I'm gonna say a little bit wrongly there. This is the map pick of Headshot Esports. And the fact that expert esports are starting on this CT side means that they did actually win the knife round. And it, it would help a lot as well that they managed to pick up yet another pistol. But the, 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 the kind of uh, repeating theme from map number one was the fact that Headshot, despite losing the pistols, always won. Or more often than not. So if you're on a set of expired, yes, you're able to win a pistol, and you're probably be uh, able to put away this buy as well, but are you able to keep the consistency up throughout the half? That's the biggest question. But this is going to be a difficult round to put away. Why? Because take a look at the buy. 4 MP9s for expired esports, but on the other hand, 4 Galils for headshot. And so now this long take with the trade, going in the of expired esports will relieve a lot of pressure. And... Leaks the attack now all on towards this B side. Two players stacked up, a boost up to shot to, to spot connector as well. Means that they've given up B side control. And headshot, they're being very quiet about this either. No utility being used whatsoever. I think Spy don't expect this, but at the same time, headshot, when do you decide to give up the game? They should have an idea that players are into a shot, right? Because the cities have been smoking off time to time again. So, oh, they're taking time, they're walking all the way. They're sending... They're sending Hellboy all the way up to C. So he can then punish the players who are rotating in. So to be very slow and very deliberate about this. Hellboy. He's gonna catch the player on the side completely unaware. Both players, he gets the dig. Now the second player's been spotted. And Bob's plunged for heaven as well. Oh, headshot, they put themselves way back into the round, but Reddington though with the trade onto Hellboy makes things a lot more doable for the CT side. Expire need to claw themselves back. Flash will blind wizard. Yes, pop damage off his own. Catches the player blind, but only has a deagle to work with. One more remaining flash will use it for his teammate. And now needs to win the kill. Oh, the kill's all coming in favor of the T side. Expired. One versus two now for Reddington. Does not the kid? Only the smoke available. Looking to tap the smoke, don't think he has the time though, yeah, he has to run away. And it's been stolen, headshot esports, all 10 players on the server meet their maker. But it's going to be the T's who come out of gamble for expired esports that didn't pay off. Headshot, just walking out to its B for free. Oh, that's a round that they really shouldn't have lost, especially because the fact that they, uh, they, they haven't been too good in the gun rounds either. So, 
that's going to be yeah, not the best start. Let's see. Let's see now. Expired. We go for a bit of a half buy of their own. So see if they're able to find an opener in this round, because that's gonna be crucial if they are going to stand any chance at all of him to find themselves a way back into the game. But long take coming out, Jin Yas has only himself to contend with in towards his bathroom, so three T's are approaching. I think there will be a flashbang as well being set up by HRD Esports. In fact, it will be a Molotov trap, flush him out. So yeah, this is where we see yeah, right, just being very procedural, right? Their utility, but at the same time, not using too much. They know how much they can get away with, but it's not how much they need to use. That's something I really do enjoy seeing out of expired esports. But at the moment, steady across the board. Interesting thing to note as well, right? Both these teams, if I'm not mistaken, actually qualified second in their home countries so not the winners of the country qualifiers but in fact run up runners up so they were to beat everyone else but the champion teams and yeah right now though headshot a little bit labored but still we can jump done at the end of the day as i was talking about earlier so coming in second place you know for both their countries right and if, if you take a look at you know the champions of their respective regions which has been actually been OZ as well as Wicked Gaming. They've both actually made it through to the round of 16 already in relatively straightforward 2 to 0 fashion. So neither team would definitely be. Neither team would want to lose and it would kind of be <laughs> the team that didn't make it through. And you know, of course, it's 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 not the nicest feeling, right? Not just you know from a competitive standpoint, based on the fact that you you lost, but also given that you know your counterparts made it through and you didn't. So quite a lot to play for on the line here. But and but expert esports definitely have the backs against the wall. The, the fact that they've consistently won pistols and been able been able to you know win against the ecos or the anti force buys, you know, has been something that. At least it's given them a little bit of hope to work on, right? But right now, if headshot they're even starting to you know break off the back of the pistols, then it could get a little bit interesting. But expert for themselves, but double man advantage has been bit by headshot. It's now looks as though they've set the sights on B once again. Expired with the retake setup towards this part of the map. Prioritizing A control, but smoke towards heaven and the flashes will give away any sort of game. But headshot, they have to be very procedural. Still hitting the headshot from that range. My god, that's a bit ridiculous from Hellboy. They will get the sight. Planting right on the open as well. Do they have to go for a boost after this? But the heaven smoke has faded. Don't have any smokes to replenish, but what they do have is four smokes in. A HE grenade. Maybe expand these spots. Yeah, I think you're gonna start looking for the weapons that they were able to, to to get out at long, right? Potentially a rifle or two there waiting for them. And headshot, they're unable to protect the weapons now because it is still on three. You never know whether or not you know there are players just waiting to come in for late. Just a pretty memory. Genius will just get another kill on his way out of sight. Oh boy, trying to pad the stats a little bit, farming a little bit more cash with the Mac 10 before we head into the first gun round. But yeah, look, two AKs to three for expired esports. That's that that's more than that's more than what they could have hoped for heading into this. I said we'll bring the guns out this time. And Ginny S will be able to get himself back on an AWP. You know, we usually see two three players on towards his B side and two on A, and for good reason, right? The, with the AWP on A, it can be such a pass to deal with. At the same time, do expect do headshot esports have anything to say? This is the map pick, of course, so should be pretty used to playing against standard CT setups, as is the case of what we are seeing at the moment, Black Blue. We called it exactly uh, as it was, right? An AWP towards long and the second player up on A. At the moment though, expired. Worried of a B rush. They've expended a lot of utility very early on. So headshot, they've done a good job of 
using a lot of utility from the CT side, especially in the early exchanges. So that's half a victory to kick off round number five. The boost up though, Nate actually does quite a chunk of damage and the boost up not yielding anything and the headshot. This is what we've come to expect from them, right? Very slow. Just making sure they have all the beat the all bit map control that they've been that as in, in theory as a T you should be able to get. But it's a times a lot of plays whereby CTs they get a little bit aggressive, find an opening pick and then fall back. Headshot, it's none of that at the moment. It's always them who find the openers and now they're working all on to B. Reddington though will take out Logi. Captain Cook now offering up a little bit of space by the retreating CTs. They're taking both sides of headshot. Ooh, Amber finds a kill on the player towards ABC. Now the rest of this attack coming out from long. Bon, 30 seconds left the cloud. They're looking to open. There are two players here though. Captain Cook needs to make a run for it. And headshot, they've hit pause. Right now they're going back in for the second wave. 15 seconds left, this is getting a little bit edgy if you're on the side of Hedgehog Esports but they've shown such good resistance in taking time Time to get onto the side, Button with 2 kills, Wizard doesn't have the time to plant the bomb and it's gonna be the round for expired Esports So Headshot, getting beaten at their own game It was huge, was concerned that the fact it was left there from spawn and they just decide to just walk out B with all four players. A lot of responsibility on Captain Cook to have to pick up the pieces running back. Despite, look, he was all the way up close and personal in the toilets, getting the kill on the A player. And then he had to make the run all the way back into his T spawn to get the, to get the bomb and then go all the way back to B. That's cutting a little bit too close. I, I guess it's just a little bit of miscommunication on the T side, but spots, they take it with open arms. Yeah, in case you're watching it right now as well, welcome. This is the ROG APEC Finals 2021. ROG Masters returning after a four-year hiatus. Of course, they had one in 2017, but now we're back in and it's 2021. A lot of things have happened since then. A lot of changes, a lot of things going on in the world. But finally, we do have this event back. And it's back with the bang. Headshot Esports trying to speed things up. They hear they're all being fired and yeah, Wizard capitalizing off the fact that Dwayne wouldn't have had the time to retreat anyway. It's a double up and a single scout on Reddington. That's a... that's an odd buy. A very odd buy. But Warlock has already hit deck. It's shut. Changing up the default, making sure that the bomb is <laughs> with them throughout the entire process this time. Once again, hitting pause, no sound across the map. Wait, wait. See if expired esports extend a helping hand to the T endeavors. But it's nothing being offered up yet. But if expired as well, you have to be sweating just a little bit. This is why Coke Hydrate is going to send himself in for a little bit of an information play. Smoke towards the side will suggest a beef. A B hit, but it's just a measly fake. And yeah, Cold Kind Dread he spotted that out, and now the A attack starting to come in. Smoke for truck and a flash over towards default. Will allow the players to get out from toilets, and this is when the attack starts to head on in. Genie, yes. Oh, the all being losing the duel to Logi. Expired. Getting out duel and headshot. Cutting a little bit close again, but this time they do it 15 seconds earlier and they do get the side as well as the bomb down. Both ops have been dropped, leaving just the rifles and the MP9. Bring a scout as well to have to but it's just not going to be executable at all. Look at go back in though, Expired Esports not wanting to give the game up. Perhaps looking to go for Ninja with the smoke and kit left on Cold Kindred, he will find a kill. Can he drop the can he drop the smoke though? Yes, he has dropped it, but he's used it for long and not for the bomb. Hellboy will just pick up two tanks. And just like that, we've got yet another round for expired esports. Yeah. 
Now the economy is completely broken. The start of expired esports headshot will be licking the chops. Because now they've got their opponents right where they want them. With the ego and with the fact that they've been winning the gun rounds consistently, this is starting to shape up very much like Dust 2. And this is where the yeah, headshot just looks so clean on these anti ecos You can see right now, just playing back, a little bit more reserved, not needing to overextend, and putting the pressure on expired to make the play, right? Because they're just so silent across the board. And first, slowly coming out, connector gets dinged, and the trade does come in. So they do manage to retrieve the weapon from the underpass. Ginny has to out into the long will spot the flash. Ooh! What? Well, they could have spotted out a gun barrel, but that's ridiculous from Logi. My god. The flash as well, completely blind, Cole Kindred. Headshot, it, it just looks so, so clean to watch, so procedural. Said this about a million times now, but it, it's just so soothing, right? Just no mistakes being made at all. Everybody's aware of their roles and team. Everybody's aware when we have long. It is the first angle that we're checking. We're going to check the tree. And we know it's anti eagle so they could be playing that. Let's just spam, let's just spam it out. Then following that, they decide to go back in to clear, to clear the toilets. Now it's going to be the A hit coming in. Again, perfect flashes. Full blind. Expired esports, I don't even think they fired a bullet in response. Other than the, the kill onto Ember up in connector. It's been... Just players not... Just left wondering what hit them, right? A player died into a tree, getting wall banged down to his knees. And the player in toilets as well, getting full white by the flash. That's called Kindred falling. But then, you've got the last remaining player on that A side. Just once again, another flash from Headshot at Esports. Just all perfectly placed. And this is the sign of a team that definitely knows overpass well. Not just as a map, but also in how they want to approach it together. Right, you can see a, that's a round that they would have called straight from spawn. Wu Tanks, this save for the AK is going to be made a little bit difficult as well. Might just be able to hold on to it. Another player approaching, but. Oof. Oh boy, oh boy. Hell boy. Makes good, makes good work. And ensures that his opponent is unable to save. And because of that, look at the money. It's still not looking great for expired esports. So at AWP, another scout on Reddington. MP9 on Wu Tanks, the only player. Along with Reddington, who has full set of utility, the rest have not got a lot to work with, and this is not too good. Not a lot of smokes, not a lot of incendiaries at all. So against the execute, they'd basically just be sitting ducks unless they were to find the opening pick off with the pop flash. Captain Cook now getting sent into a shot. Free kill on Cook Hydra to kick things off. Oh, headshot. So many ways of switching up the, their approaches to the game, being able to find the opening picks in so many, it just a flurry of different ways. And if you're expired esports, constantly you have to play the guesser game. Where are they going to find the opener? Where are they going to put a, a little bit more resources to at the start of the round? And even holding for the reaggression. Hellboy. Catching out. That shot retake, and guess what? Because they had no utility, it had to be a dry contact, otherwise they could have flashed. Hellboy could have been blind, could have been a free kill, but this is the product of not having a good economy at all. And expired made a bit of full price. And trade for Ginny, bomb is dropped. But with the situation, two scold weapons left up against three eight of headshot who can just run you either. that's not looking like a combination for success not especially when captain cook just finds the op out in the open and headshot they've got this map nuke down to a t what a performance it's been so far and hellboy's gonna clear this gonna call this b side clear as well which is why they're gonna get their way back down and yeah can get be able to get a free plan look they've even got a player to cut off the cut off the, the save Right, that's gonna be the play out into its long. Depends on timing. Reddington will collect the AWP, but whether or not he can get out, that's a different question. Logi will just pop hit. 
pop his head from the side and expire expire these sorts they're just getting uh, almost outplayed from every single and, and it's not it has to be said it's not the fact that headshot necessarily aim wise they're better because at the moment they're not even having to record to rely on their aim to dig them out to dig themselves out of situations it's playing as a team knowing what what are the which hey you know i can find an opener here and after i find this opener i'm gonna head back into its a and then hey you hellboy hold on to short for me please thank you very much and oh, oh, oh i got a kill and now it's spamming short my god do a little bit of chip damage and ready for this short aggression coming out amber if you expired it has to be full tilt at the moment you're getting spammed through I mean, that is common spam but when the spam hits it's always surprising nonetheless and this A default has worked a treat every single time for headshot esports, so why not head back to it? If they only have to show one default, maybe this is the only one they have, but it is certainly working out in spades at the moment. And they will, once again, find Genius playing that position for what has been time now, this game. Headshot. Just so incredibly well regimented in their approach to this map and also on just two that it is very it's watch right it's not it's not the most exciting brand of counter strike right it's not that it's not like they're being aggressive in your face one pop flash and we go but this is them playing the numbers you know and counter strike it is a game about percentages right if, if you are able to play the numbers as we've seen australians do you can find consistent success and this is what headshot are doing at the moment Maybe against better opposition, they might have to you know, change things up a little bit because that's when the adjustments made will be a lot better and a lot quicker as compared to expired esports because it looks as though they haven't had really much to you know, many solutions to throw at the problem. But headshot, man, they're gonna they're gonna take this every day of the week, right? You know, if if if, if it's working, then you know, there's no reason to fix what's not broken. And overall, in, in, in the context of the tournament as well, right? If, if teams really watch the demos, that's when you can't get a good information. So maybe they're going to figure out how to deal with this specific default from the set of headshot esports, especially as well as that, as well as, well as the default that they have on Dust 2. But, you know, overall, headshot, I think they've got a lot more left in the tank, which is what makes things scary. Because they haven't really had to go into second gear, as we talked about on Dust 2. Expired esports, what do they have to do now? Two AWPs out and AUG no longer the scout for Reddington because he's got the money to buy up now. And expired esports, they need a round, they need it bad. They definitely need, need it this time. So maybe setting an AWP to find an opener out into its middle and be out to its B as well. But headshot, they've been just. Look, it's gonna be a couple of flashes being thrown over from both sides. Seeing if they can find an opener anywhere, the ops peeking, but no one being spotted out. Yeah. So now headshot is gonna do the standard default, right? Smoke into its toilets and then after that a Molotov into its divider position as well. For good measure, just to force the players, force the CTs off mid. And then you know, the world is your oyster for headshot esports. This is the multi this is the money they were talking about, right? For divider. This just gives you complete mid control. They can take, and the fact is, they have taken connector as well. They know the CTs are nowhere in this part of the map. So, if you're expired, what do you do? Right? You're playing off basically nothing. You're conceding so much map control, and your opponent's just allowed to take so many things for free, right? Not a boost up to its shot to catch anybody off, not not trying to find an open out to its B, not allowing your op to go back in for a bit of aggression mid round. Expired. Well, well, well. And headshot. Their sights on this. And if it all goes well, they can't even flank the CTs because it's a it's a two man setup into a stone. Oh, faking fake the drop into the water as well, Logi. Kinda like that. Not really if that was intentional or not, but that's certainly that sound cue will suddenly drop players off. And look, yeah, it's trying to rotate off. They catch the players. 70 seconds left to the clock once again. Playing things down to a T. Perfect flash for Reddington. And if they expired, man oh man. Headshot, this is. This is some sexy kind of strike right here. 
It has to be said. It's incredibly meticulous, incredibly well out, incredibly well planned, and incredibly executed as a whole boy. We'll once again find another kill, and look, once again, standing up for the save as well. CTs, you are not getting out of the site. Not a chance in hell. Can be able to save at all. Captain Cook once again. They're still going for this suit. And they know what it is, has to be. Yeah, boo tanks. Oh, oh, oh. I'm pretty sure e even if you're a fan of Expired at the moment, you have to be. You have to say hats off to Headshot, man. You know, Expired, I don't think this is their A game as well. Headshot, this has been an. Pretty incredible performance. I think it's back down to the pistols. There we go. Do head into round number 11. Headshot presenting themselves up for an incredible half. As the days for expired are indeed numbered. How do you find a solution if you're expired esports, right? You try throwing bodies at the problem, but uh, headshot, they've been able to respond well after considering the fact that they are defaulting, right? So the players on the extremities know when they kept space and should probably take a shift, which is exactly what the players out to us long are doing right now. But at the same time, they have that finesse, right? Like when, when, when time gets cut a little bit short, they are aware of how they want to just pull the rotates from expired esports. Maybe they're not even aware that they're getting pulled around. And headshot, look, all four players up into a long. They knew that two players were there last round, so it's unlikely that they go for that for the same setup and they're just exploiting it. Headshot, I love this. I love the calling coming up from their side and whoever's calling, man. The system that they have in place, I think this has to be a roster that's been a while around for quite a while. I thought it was just, just happening to you know, play best Counter Strike that they probably have played throughout their lives. Well, the headshot might just be able to yield themselves a weapon, and I think Cold Kindred might just be allowed space to save. But even even though they've been able to carry the air, at least back on Dust 2, Expired weren't able to do much with it in the grand scheme of things. So. Another round goes in favor of Headshot Esports. And yet again, you are left kind of deflated for Expired. Because there hasn't, there just hasn't been anything too much to write home about, right? You win the pistol, that's good. But then you get forced on, and instantly it's like, wow. <laughs> we win the pistol, and yeah, our economy is in shambles immediately. And now they're calling yet another time out. We saw this back on Dust 2. Off the back of it, they went for a fast round, remember that was on the T side, but still, a couple of mistakes being made there, because the first player out was a little bit too far ahead, but now it's on the CT side, what do you opt to do? Do have a little, quite a little bit of quite a little bit of cash. Maybe they bring out the double ops, but the ops can't just be passive, you have to go for the opener, and that's when you need a bit of confidence play. Someone has to keep the, the momentum up on that CT side, to just say, you know, hey, you know, Reddington or J Go for the opening pick, find us the kill, which will allow us to fall back and then play on the side. And then when the T's are forced into executing, they have to again be a lot more meticulous, right? Think about it, if you find the opener, it's not just the fact that you're killing one player, you're killing four pieces of utility as well. And that's something that Headshot is supposed to have been very good at utilizing throughout this entire map and even throughout this entire series. So if you're able to, to cripple them a little bit and then Wait till they execute, have your AWPA, get a second kill. It's 5 on 3, you can't just play retake. That's when the retake becomes a lot more doable, and that's when you can just remain calm. But if views as though at the moment expired esports, they're just not on the same page in terms of how they want to play. You've got some players playing a little bit aggressive, some players playing a little bit passive, right? You have to do things together as a team. Everybody has to be on the same page. And perhaps this is in part due to the fact they're playing on overpass as well, maybe a little bit of unfamiliar territory. For expired esports. So, yeah. They've had two minutes now to talk things through, decide how they want to approach this as a team, 
and decide what is the cost of action to take this round. Maybe a boost up in towards the connector, reverse boost to catch off the players in short, and perhaps perhaps a setup up in towards long as well, given the headshot. They have the, the default has kind of consisted of them consistently leaning towards the long part of the map. But on the contrary, I had sure could have called a fast round off the back of this, right? In two minutes, your play, your opponents they might have had a perfect plan in place, and then you just call a B-Rush, and everything gets unraveled. Do they have to do that? It makes me figure it out. 9 to 2 now as we head into round number 12. To expire and headshot, of course, if headshot win this, gives a slot in the top 16. It's going to be a default once again for headshot. As we said before, no reason to change what is working very, very well. But aggression coming out into its middle. Four players leaning towards this part of the map. Most likely going to be a flash. Oh no, they're going back into its long already. They're going back into its B. Headshot, maybe they've gotten the sensing. They've gotten a bit of a tell as to what the setup is from expired esports. And boy, oh boy. Is it looking good for them at the moment? Smoke in for heaven. And now they're gonna start going in towards this B side. Very procedural take once again. Perfect call from Headshot Esports. So we'll have the site, we'll get the bomb down full. 5 on 5 retake about to ensue. Molotov towards the pit on a couple of positions, but boosted up, but the smoke trajectory will give it away. Hellboy does he opt to stand his ground? Boost up to a CT as well, a player upcoming towards the short position. The retake though, bombs half tick, Wizard with the open on the first kill of the round. And now this is where everybody, all the dominoes will begin to collapse on the set of expired esports as headshot. They just know, they just, <laughs> it's looking better at the moment. Panther 2 for headshot. Been wild on course to close out the map and potentially a series. Expired. Ooh, they actually come back in with another shot added. Two AWPs, an MP9 and a Deagle will be the, the weakest weapon in this round, but it looks as though they're going for a little bit of a sh And Blue Tanks will be able to claim this position for now. But the tease they have willingly given it up. Oh boy. A little spam will do a little bit of damage, but that's not gonna deter Bull Tanks from his advances. Cold Kindred. Here to back up his teammate. This is once again the normal default for Headshot Esports. Flash into its long, two players to peek in case they are able to find one, so at least you have to trade. But now you call that this is clear, so you know they should roughly be in toilets. And so, do they have to bypass it? Yeah, they got to throw a flash in. That's not going to catch Reddington because he's playing so far up front in party. But Ginny S is starting to fall back, maybe makes a little bit of sound as well. But Reddington is so far away from his teammate that he's a bit isolated. Ooh, sneaking around the back lines, Reddington. Oh, I think he has Hellboy, yeah. No, he has Captain Cook. That's gonna be an eight. In fact, the AWP, so three ops now for the CTs, the rest of the remaining terrorists. They will look to make their way in towards this B side. Bombs been dropped right outside the connector, and now it's a four on two now. Expired esports. 20, 25 seconds left on the clock, they have the time in their favor. Headshot, perhaps doing a little bit too late. Reddington slipping through the cracks. Oh, the bomb being planted. Spotting out just just the knees of the player at the edge of the smoke, and that's going to net expire these for the third. So, this was the all in. This was a, a huge sigh of relief for them. And off the back of Reddington's massive play. Massive, massive play. Right, headshot, they assume that you know, expired esports will simply fall back, but no. Reddington instead, he pushes forward, walking the entire time, sneaks into the back lines, collects Captain Cook and the AWP as well. More importantly, forcing headshot to actually speed up the game, because you know that someone's flanked somewhere, you don't really know where he's come from. And there's gonna be... Pretty... ...the round, but I got a feeling that expired... 
they're still reeling just a little bit. Look at Reddington's position, he's out at long with the AWP, but that angle has been played so many times for Expired Esports that I think it's gonna be a little bit too predictable. Brian boost over, Reddington able to find a kill, they spot him out still. It's just a one and done position, no trip potential at all. Boost up into it short, two tanks with a lot of information to play with. But they've considered long control and toilets. So expired, they have to hatch their bats a little bit wisely now. Wizard will be deploying a Lurk Smoke out into its long and... Yeah, that's gonna draw the rotates over. And headshot, they're making their way back to its B as well, so... Ooh. The anchors will have a lot on the plate. One thing that could work in the favor though is that there is an AWP and a rifle, and that the fact that the AK on the side of expired eSports is towards B. So a couple of headshots could well turn the tide in the favor, but at the moment 4 on 4 is definitely favoring the T's at the moment. They spot out Cole Kindred, who will drop his incendiary on the plate though. Here's the tech come to the player, stands his ground towards pillar, and ooh. Headshot, a very awkward spacing, and they're trying to make their way back up to its A, but it's a little bit late. Once again, 10 seconds, 7 o'clock, Wizard, this is a big kill to find. This has got the A site now. Another player arriving at the truck. Ooh, they do manage to find blue tanks, and again, right down to the wire. But headshot, at the end of the day, it's only three things in common. Death, Texas, and headshot, winning out a late round. And they're able to collect the heads as they do arrive on the site, and Wizard will just close things out. My oh my, they're up to 3 now. Headshot could still do a little bit better. One more round to close out the half, but given that they are on the T side of both of us, this is a huge result already. And if expired, it's definitely looking incredibly bleak. Heading into the last round of the half. 11 to 4 is still a possible comeback, uh, possible scoreline to come back from. So, world isn't over just yet. Captain Cook fast advances out in towards long. Ooh, Genius will find the opener. Dwayne as well. So, ooh, aggression coming out from expired esports, but could it be too little too late? The flash as well. Where was this coming out from expired esports? It took them 15 rounds to finally show some show some grit on that CT side. And look, this is the aggression to their opponents. You can see a second player coming up towards short. The player up was already on site. Oh, but just missed the timing. This is a little bit unfortunate. But I don't think they're going to expect the third player that is, I think, Boo Tanks. Yeah, they're not going to expect Boo Tanks on the side. So it should be a pretty easy, yeah, easy mop up for him. He knows where the last player is as well. Drop the bomb, but ooh, running up towards A, Hellboy. Could still have a doable one versus three. Oh, he's running back here. It's running back apparently. Trying to find a kill first, but the first kill will definitely give up the game plan for him. They do spot him now. This is when all three players will swing. Expert Esports with a little bit of, a bit of feist, a little bit of fire to close out the half. Down 4 to 11, but the way that they won that last round, if they are able to bring their momentum into that second half, that's when we begin talking about them having a possible chance. But at the moment, headshot esports really looking good. Let's see if expired any, any more bits of aggression to come out right now. Then the T side to get to the, the pace of the game. Four smokes. And a host of flashes coming out from this T side. I'm excited. I'm I'm excited to see what they have for us. So it's going to be split to toilet. So suggesting a fast. Oh, Logi just deletes Ginny S out of the round, and that was one of the players with the utility. So the fact that they've got four players with so much utility means that it's not necessarily a huge loss in in, in the grand scheme if you're looking at the round in general but definitely not the way you want to start off your T half especially if you're down 4 to 11 but just like that utility majority of it has been expanded for expired esports they've drawn rotates over towards B now it's going to be back in towards the A side they go Bhutan's lining up the smoke for gar for, for the garbage bin the flash as well will go over. Player selling this B fake all alone, but Hellboy will close it down. Will close him down, and this is the final 
flash now for the CT side. Go Kindred able to open up the side with G. We'll find an equalizing kill on uh, an equalizing kill on the players on the side. Now it's a two on four. And ooh, last flash has been used by Expired Esports. Hellboy! This takes out Go Kindred on his retreat towards long. And well well well, headshot. The first time they win a pistol. And this could be the final nail in the coffin for Expired Esports already. So far, all the pistol rounds have been won by Expired, and there's been a one thing we spoke about this before. The one thing that's kind of worked in their favor. Now if you can't even win the pistol. What are you going to be able to conjure up? They are able to force back in though, so that's the one silver lining is the fact that the buy will be pretty comparable to that of Headshot Esports because they did get the bomb down on their T-sided economy which is a bit more forgiving so maybe they can break the back of their opponents just like Headshot did back on their own T-side but this is going to take a little bit of work right? all 5 players invested in the map for now and Headshot look flash straight away coming from the second round of smoke thinking that nobody's crossed so this is where they actually should go a little bit more aggressive towards long but of course it's the power of hindsight Go Kindra though, faster connector Tags down the player up in toilets down to 136 HP. That's gonna be Captain Cook to see bullets onto his body. Logi though now taking the long range engagement with the M4. Of course, it's always gonna come out on top when it comes to that head to head. We've already got three players rotated over to this A site. And headshot, they're not keen on contesting this anymore as they will fall back to play retake. But I think Expired want to continue putting the pressure on. Moving forward now, Jenny is very close. What's not a bad player in towards bank? A second player up in on the side already. The kills coming in back and forth, and we do stabilize. And a 1 on 2 now for Butangs. Picks up the Galil, gets the bomb down for D4, which means he can fall back in towards the toilets. Headshot trying to rush the retake. Do they spot him out? I think they might have just. Oh boy, ooh. With dice, and yeah. Able to find the kill. Butangs. Unable to elude the CTs. It's the fact that it just charged at him for the retake meant that he was never really uh, allowed to get himself into any sort of favorable or comfortable position to play out the clutch. That's going to be the buy being put away by Headshot. Esports expired now. Do they have to buy back in? That is the big question. I think it's going to be just down to Deagles and Headshot. This is their best chance to put themselves onto 14. But just take a look at what's happening across the board as well, right? Huatsai, uh, they are playing at the moment as well. I think a couple of other games. If you take a look across the board, right? You've got you've got Gru Gru against Forts. You've got Forced Heart Five Semporna against Five Hunters. You've got this game right now, Expired against Headshot. You've got Wasted Potential against a Hundred Ping. Whereas a lot of you know games have already concluded, right? Of course, we've had. We have another 8 more tomorrow to them in the top 16. And this is this should be the closing stages of this specific matchup. Because, well, Headshot have proven themselves to be a class above, a cut above expired esports today. Credit where it's due, right? Of course, expired they did well to make it through the Malaysian qualifiers, but Headshot they look like they have some real fire to bring to the table. Random 5 making it through, of course from Singapore. We've got AG Esports booking themselves a slot in the top 16 as well. Teletubbies, Huatzai, Alpha Black, Paradox, 2Easy Gaming, Zigma, TLZ, Expendables, and Wicked. All making, them, making their way through. Now, it's up to the remaining 4 teams to see, remaining 8 teams to see which 4 can join them. Right now, it's looking as though it's really going to be headshot esports as expired. May just want to do a little bit more chip damage to the economy, right? Because if they do manage to win the next bu the next buy round, and they do win it pretty convincingly, they can slowly mount a comeback. And it's always good to keep you know the CT economy honest, right? But look at the rounds; just so clean for headshot. The previous round wasn't necessarily the most the cleanest, but this has been pretty comfortable, all things considered. Just a smoke and a flash remaining for the T's. Time running out! And expired. That's a, that's an odd play. You would have wanted to, to die so that 
you could have gotten off the AK for this round, but well, small mistakes be made by expired. Not even buying a full set of utility, so I guess that's where the difference is between expired and headshot. And yeah, so just gonna be Deagle and Mac Ten for the two saving players, the Wayne and Bhutan. Yes, they might just be going for a bit of a faster round here, up into a shot as well as towards monster. Ooh, boost up connector will spot the player crossing into a shot, and just like that, it's another opener for headshot. As now they will be looking to make their way into his B side. Is it a bit all too obvious though? Player in between the smoke, Yashu will find one and then just fall back. They know they've got the advantage, they know they've still got a player into his toxic barrels, as Hellboy will make sure that the player into his pillar cannot get away with his life. Now, going back out to this monster as well. How about clearing the angle, Ginny? Once again, we'll make this maker and another clean round for headshot. This is. This is just them saying, you know what? Yeah, let's just put an end to this game already. 15 to 4. Most likely gonna be 16. The B rush looked as though it was something rehearsed from expired. But just headshot. Taking initiative with the shot with the boost into its connector, finding the opening frag, and then after that expired, just couldn't recover from that. The B the, the, the B players as well, on site knowing where the smokes landed and playing in between the smokes. I think that was Wizard up in the elevator position on that side itself. Very well played. This is Headshot saying good night to expired esports as the nade will finish off Dwayne. That's just such a pain. Oh dear, the AWP as well hasn't had the opportunity to fire a single bullet. As his, his comrades will now have to try and pick up the pieces. But an 11 round comeback looks unimaginable at best. Flash play will buy space for Amber get out but what's this so they want to go for two men set up up in towards the toilet so back three players here smoke will suggest that the player was long but there are two players up close and personal want to take the fight for genius and sandry will delay him perfect timing on it headshot it just reading expired at the moment Good reads all around, going, falling back, waiting for the retake. You can see it's all in tandem, right? Taking a bit of contact here and there, picking off each other. Off the teammates' flashes. This is perfect. Logi and Captain Cook are able to find two more kills, and now it's two on five. Now they should be able to close things out. Blue tanks left all alone in the clutch. This is going to be undoable in the least. And it will be Headshot Esports taking home the victory 16 to 4 on the map pick of Overpass after 16 to 9.